Hi guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102. So this is a, a bit of a, a merged video. This is a case of an update on my long-term network game, and this is also a part request, just about a little bit of explanation about long-term saves. Uh, as you may already know, may or not already know, this is my long-term network save, season 117. Uh, this is a network game with Pep and Ian. And just for the record, I've loaded this on a different device, hence why you can see the term change player. That wouldn't normally be there, of course, but I've loaded it as a, restored it as a solo game um, because I use a different device in my recording software. So the request about, um, just explaining about long-term saves, because a lot of people say, how the fuck do you do uh, a save like 100 seasons plus, and even more so of a network game, because obviously, the, the concept of a successful network game is, is there's just one word I've got to use with regards uh, getting it to work, and that is communication. Um, it, it, it really is, it, you know, like we, we've been playing over eight and a half years, coming up to eight and a half years, myself, Pep, and Ian. Uh, Pep is my nephew, as, for those of you that don't know. We started this in December 2013, and it's, it's always about communicating. Now, to be fair to Ian, Ian's pretty much always online on Hamachi. Hamachi is a tunneling program that we use to play CM with. Do you remember um, MSN? MSN Messenger. It, it, Hamachi is very much like that. You know, like you've got a chat facility and shit on it. You can see when someone's online. But predominantly, uh, it is a tunneling program, so we need to all be online. Now, to be fair to Ian, if Ian is available to play, he'll be online. And um, with Pep being uh, family, I can contact Pep and send him a text and say, Pep, chance to see a CM game, or vice versa. Sometimes Pep's already online, and so on and so on. Um, now, over eight and a half years between us, you know, we've dealt with a lot of bullshit, you know, um, moving house, computer crashes, computer breaking, uh, bereavements, loads, absolutely loads of stuff. So you think in eight and a half years a lot happens between three people's lifestyle. Um, so that is the real first key thing, it's communicating. Uh, and obviously I can communicate with Pep and I can communicate with Ian away from Hamachi through the uh, Championship Manager 0102.net forums where I can leave him PMs, vice versa. Uh, predominantly, it, with a lot of people that I play with, it's really Facebook that I use, but Facebook isn't for everybody. Now. Another main question about long-term saves is that goals dry up in the last stages, which the bottom line is they they do, particularly on the ODB. Now, this as a, let me re re remind you that this is a 2013 update. Uh, so we used what was the update at the time, which makes sense. We started it in 2013. I think the update came out in uh, October, so the autumn period of 2013. And the the in patch at the time was a Tapani patch. Tapani was a guy uh, used to be on the forums. He used to create patches to try and enhance the game. Clearly, we've come a long, long way since uh, 2013. But at the time, it was a Tapani patch, and it was version 2.19, which is what I use. Now, there was a, a tick box option on the Tapani patch 2.19, which was about using a Tapani regen, uh, which basically sorted out the regens. You know, the regens, they are still a little bit skewed as you may recall, uh, the last time I went through this game. But um, it also supports on goals drying up uh, in the longer term saves. Now, there's never really been a complete um, a complete crack for this because, as you may recall from one of my other videos, after the party, there became Saturn patches. Saturn was a, another guy. And then at current, it's a guy called Nick who does amazing work. Now, on one of Nick's previous versions of his patcher, and I'm saying previous because he's actually taking this off. He put in a uh, one of his older versions. He put in stop the super um, super keepers, which basically in the last stages of a save uh, of a solo save, you know, like um, season five, six, and beyond, there was a lot of super keepers, which were meaning games were finishing nil nil. Goalkeepers were having great games, and he did. Uh, it was only beta, and um, I think he was more hoping for a lot more positive feedback. Uh, he was trying to beat that and, and prevent all the goals drying up. So that's still out there, you know, to, for people to test. It isn't Nick's most recent uh, patch. I think it's like about, I think his, his most recent patch version is 2.22 Nick's patcher. 
it's something like 2.17, 2.18. You can find it on the uh, on the forums on the Nick Nick and Co. Patcher uh, Fred, and you can look at all his archived um, releases. So if you wanted to get an ODB game going, there is a way around it. Um, and the way to get an ODB game going with a Nick's Patcher, you have to uh, install CM, install the 3.968. Yeah, that will change the data update, but don't panic. So install the 3.968 and then make sure you've copied the ODB data files somewhere, paste them back into your data folder once you've done the 3.968 and that will do um, an enhanced version of the ODB. So you can also use a Nix patcher, so coloured attributes, speed of the game and obviously that, that um, beat the super keepers bullshit. I say bullshit because it was very difficult. Now... I, you know, in terms of this game, the, the goals haven't really dried up. Uh, probably because there's three of us. I think that's the bottom line on this. There is three of us. So, that hopefully has covered what the request was about explaining longer term games. Let's talk about this three man game now then. Season 117. We've had a bit of a break off this game and we actually had a two hour session yesterday. Let's show you where we're at. Look at that. That is fucking insane. Now, to be honest with you, right. Uh, Ian Drew with um, Charlton towards the back end of our session. Charlton um, gave a bit of memory for me. They cost me the title last season. But what it does mean, it puts me into a chance. Uh, if I can win my game in hand, it'll put me on to 72. And I think uh, the, the, the big killer for me was um, was losing to Ian. And it was there. Uh, it was an absolute killer for me. Uh, that was really... We, we were dead level on points. Um... And that was an opportunity. And he's obviously got goal difference in his favour. The League Cup was a bit of a scary one for me. I won the first leg 4-0. And then the second leg, clearly, I played a lot of uh, second... Not second-rate players. I still played a very strong team. And look at them. They were absolutely horrendous. They absolutely outplayed me. Um, but going... Sorry, just very, very quickly. Going back to uh, the long-term save side of things. Uh, one thing I've got on this particular version... I can't save for the later versions. Because I've not got any real long-term games. Every AI will play 4-4-2. Now, that is really fucking frustrating, to be honest with you. It's frustrating that all they do is play 4-4-2. The only people that don't play 4-4-2 is me, Ian, and Pep. So, um, I'm just looking. Sorry, very, very quickly. Uh, Derby obviously beat me. Derby have been a force. They were in the UEFA Cup. Now, they brought Simon Lewis off Ian. You may remember him, the Ryan Giggs region. Ian brought him off Pep for 100 million. Surprisingly, flogged him. Uh, he did try to use him as bait in a deal to me. Uh, that guy there, uh, Huizkamp, now he is a very good player. He is 33, but he's, he's a prolific player, and he was for me at Chelsea. Um, so he has got some, um, he's got some decent players, to be fair. Uh, he, sorry, I'm talking to like a real person. The Derby got some, so they're probably worthy of their place. But nevertheless, I'll go through to the League Cup final, where I will meet, where I will meet... Pepe, uh, sorry, Pepe Twat, Ian, who just edged Pep, as you can see in that second leg there. So me and Ian in the League Cup final, um, Ian will look to retain it. Uh, the FA Cup then, just remember, I've won seven FA Cups in a row. And um, and as you can see, I think, in fact, yeah, we saved just after the FA Cup. Yeah, there you go, 10th of uh, March. Now, you can see uh, QPR are waiting, so luckily it's QPR. QPR are quite a, a strong team, to be fair. So clearly we're gonna clash. Um, just to, just to reiterate there, that's a record that I've got with Chelsea. The um, the league, Ian is really gunning for it. He's really gunning for it. Uh, I ain't giving up now for Pep. Well, wow, look at Pep. He's having an absolute horrendous time. Uh, he, he he's really far off the pace. Not really much activity um, on the transfers, to be honest with you. Um, you may recall this guy that I repurchased from Pep, and do you know when you? I always find rebuying somebody never really works. In solo games, you sell a player, you buy him back, and it never works. However, look at this cunt. 19 starts, 16 goals, and you know he's been absolutely brilliant for me. And he, you know this guy here, um, Stalens, who I believe, in fact, I'm sure, is a Eden. Eden Hazard regen, he's not breaking it, well he's struggling, but even though when he, when he has played, 7-7-7, seven, 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 you can't grumble with that. But where I play those attacking midfielders, because initially I was fucking them all off, but I'm playing them literally right there, if you can see where I'm, where I'm pointing to there. 
But then um, Andres uh, Obru, look at him, fucking amazing, although he is slightly unhappy. Um, Dominguez, ah, oh, Dominguez, fucking hell. I mean, I did say to Pep on a PM, I said, do you want him? Great right back, he's, he's a real prolific player, but you know what it's like. This is the thing about long-term saves. Um, players just feel moves over and over again, and it's fucking so frustrating because... What makes me laugh, right, is Dominguez will feel moves to go to someone else in England, uh, and you think, why? Why the fuck would you want to go over there and stuff? And it's so frustrating because it's one of the flaws in the game, and you really can't do jack shit about it. Majority, I mean, Messi, Regen, look how unhappy he is. Now, this is why, for long term saves, particularly on this game, I tie these fuckers down to long contracts. Now, you see, Messi has still got seven years left on his deal. Uh, by that time, he'll be 31. So that is what I'll do. Uh, I'll tell you who has had a few games for me this season. Do you remember I bought him roughly just over a year ago? Um, Ronaldo Regen. Pepe surprisingly sold him to me. And I hope to get him 18 months out of him. And I will. I'll sign him down to a long contract. Um, so fr from my self perspective, um, I, I, you know, my, my squad is still at its strongest. I think possibly could do with a defender really. I mean my DMCs, my new captain is uh, Seb Lawrence. I've made him my captain. Because, I'll tell you why. Maybe I'm overthinking things. There was a reason I made him captain. Um, because he's English. <laughs> Basically, I figure we're in England. He needs to have a fluent language. I mean, this, maybe that don't mean no difference at all. I don't know. But um, also, he's English and he's got an influence of 20. So, uh, And he's also been so, so prolific. 793, 16 assists from DMC. And this, this other DMC here... Um, Quinor, Qu Quinos, Quinos, whatever. I mean, how fucking amazing has he been for me since he signed? Uh, ex Pep, of course, has been brilliant. Uh, I find no right. It's about finding their best position. Now, this player will only play better in DMC. He will not play in DC. He won't perform, shall I say? And that's in my my way, in my little world. That's because he's got no position. In same with uh, Agbo. Agbo is a great player, but he will not perform in defence, even though he can play there. Emergency, maybe. Same with going back to what I just said about Dominguez. Dominguez, um, he's got crossing a 20. He's got dribbling. He hasn't really quite got the pace and acceleration, but realistically, he's a right back. He's not got no position. He is a right back, because he's right footed. Uh, oh, God, Burgess. John Terry region, that is, by the way. Looks a bollocks, don't he? And you can't grumble that he hasn't, he hasn't performed because he has. Look at him. He's very pacey. It's nice to have a pacey defender. Three red cards this season. <laughs> Fucking prick. Um, then you've got... I'll say then you've got... Then I've got this guy who's constantly fueling moves. And Sergio Ramos. Uh, yeah, Ramos. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but just keeps fucking fueling moves. Prick. Uh, this was my latest um, acquisition. Now, I went to Costa Rica um, to look for this player specifically. I, could, I don't know who he's a pre-gen of, or who, or who he's, sorry, who he's a regen of, or who is his pre-gen. All I know is that I remember having a uh, defender slash right back, and he, he was half decent, and I managed to find him. Um, now, this has actually answered my question. He obviously appeared at this side here as a 23, 22-year-old, so... Do you remember I had a video on regens? So maybe if they come on a free transfer, so they can just appear. So he wouldn't have come as a youth at the age of 22. A youth would only come as 19 and under, but he clearly just appears. So that tells me that as a club, as a human club, you can't get a regen of an English player if he's going to be regen over 19 years of age, which is a bit bollocks, really. Um, so, I, I've actually had a little bit of uh, issue with my goalkeeper. Uh, Buffon has let me down a little bit. He got a five. Uh, Chortis, Regent, if that's how you pronounce it. A Russo, mm, Russo is really a third-rate goalkeeper. Let's have a quick look at Ian. Ian's goal machine. Still scoring goals. He's 33. Alex Gill. Look at that. Absolutely fucking crazy. Um, I'd like to go to Pep, and I'd like to say... This player's done really well for Pep, but Pep hasn't got anyone that's really performed. Benitez, maybe, who he signed from me. Who he signed from me. You know, I don't know. Uh, he's probably been his best player. Let's have a look who Pep's best player has been. Um, no, his best player's been Sutton. 
Yeah, I think I pointed him out in the previous one. He don't look anything, does he? But credit where it's due, he's been a performer. Brian, oh, he's only had one game. <laughs> uh, he was always going to be. I think that's, no, that's not Xavi. That's Xavi Regen. The reason I know that's not Xavi Regen, do you remember what I said about um, Regens? Balance, bravery, and flair. Xavi's is 18, 18, 18, I think. So I know that's not Xavi. I don't know who that is, to be honest with you. Uh, so sorry, let's just go back to Ian a minute. So Ian um, Gill is just a goal machine. Ian's got so many. I mean, Zlatan Regen, he's had 12 starts, 25 goals. So you've really got to give Ian so much credit. I mean, his DMC, um, Mignani, has been absolutely brilliant. I would love to get Mignani. Uh, I'm not going to get him, obviously, but he would really fit into my setup. Just to remind you guys, my setup is what I call my Tyson Fury. Um, with my two DMCs, uh, and that's why I was playing the AMC over here because I felt I could without the arrow. But um, both of those AMCs of mine, the Hazard Regen and that Uruguayan, both of them are ineligible for the Champions League. So that's why I ended up playing a forward. And then what happens is he then comes in and plays really well. So it's really bizarre. Makedo has done really well. That is uh, just to remind you that is Aguero Regen. So and um, one other thing I will hit on. The Champions League, we are all looking good for our place in the quarterfinals, I fact. In fact, we've all, I think me and Ian have confirmed our place. Right, okay, now I didn't actually realise this. So me and Ian have confirmed winning our group. Um, it looks like Oxford have as well, which is good to see. So Pepe, as it stands, is currently, oh, I didn't realise that he lost his last game. Uh, let's just have a look. So Pep beat Juventus 4-3. In, the, in his first game and lost the second leg 2-0 which means it is out of his hands now of course you may recall last season last season the Pepe finished runners up in his group and as a result let's see if we can go back as a result landed Ian in the Champions League quarter finals and was eliminated I can't yeah he was eliminated and of course, if that happens again, which it could well, but he could land any of us. He could land me. He could land Ian. And of course, he'll want to land Oxford. Clearly, um, I don't want to land Pep. Uh, you know, there's no doubt about it. I do not want to land Pep. I'd rather land uh, whoever in, run, finishes runners up in this group or that group. And let, you know, Pep needs to win that group. Uh, this Pep needs to save his fucking season. He really does. Um, so that is where we're at. Uh, the internationals, so what are we at? Euro 32. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the manager status to make it a little bit easier. So Pep is Italy. Sorry. Ian is Italy. Pep is Holland. And I'm Germany. So let's have a look at um, the Italians. Four straight wins out of four. Ian is looking good there. Pepe with Holland. Three wins and a draw. Should have no worrying in qualifying. And for me, Germany, we are in, oh, we're in the Confederations, it looks like. I did see something pop up. Four wins out of four. So, all looking good. I'll probably leave Germany after the Euros. I just thought I'd have a Euro, uh, a Euro assault. Um, and it's always good when we're all in it. It would be nice to see us all in the Copa America. But, with so many flaws in this game, uh, with the international job setup, I don't know if we could. Um... Like, you can't manage so many international teams now. It's getting fewer and fewer. It's going to be obsolete if we carry on much more. But I'm not really so fussed about that. Right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's covered what the request was about the long-term saves. It probably hasn't covered as much as what you wanted to hear. Um, there isn't really too much more. But it is really a case of um, looking at Nick's patches, looking at the missed patches. There are various other bits and pieces. I've got mine as close to... On, if you want to do it on an ODB long-term save, you're best off, in my opinion, you're best off using an older Nix patcher and using that beta for a super keepers. That is the best thing to do. But it's on the latter versions where you, you want the uh, AI to not be fucking staying with 442. Um, so, that's it, guys. Till next time. Um... If you've got any, uh, anything you want doing, if you've got any questions, anything you want to add to this, throw it to us. Till next time, guys, take it easy from me.